Hi there YouTube, this is Rob, I'm the creator of Porch Dogs and today I'm going to be interviewing Manessu, who is playing Randy. And Randy is a stripper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he is. <laughs> okay, so for our YouTube viewers at home, please explain a little bit more about your character. Well, Randy, as you said, is a stripper, but uh, he's a lot more layered than that. He's, he's a guy who likes to have fun, he's a, he's a life of the party. Um, Good looking dude, but ultimately he has bigger dreams than that. Uh, he's using stripping as a gateway to, mm -hmm. to, to bigger and better things and to, to help fund his education. So he's quite an interesting guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not just a stripper, is he? I mean, that's, that, like you say, it's just a, a step to pay for his way through college and uni, yeah? Yeah, stripping is just like one small aspect of who Randy is. Yeah. Um, it's just helping him to, you know, get his dreams. So. As a ghost, because we actually see Randy's death on yeah. screen in the first episode, so keep your eyes out for that, YouTube. Uh, Randy dies in front of the other four ghosts. Yeah. So, how do you feel about playing a ghost, and, 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 and what are your personal beliefs about the afterlife? Well, <laughs> Playing a ghost is fun. Um, I, I think I think it's gonna be a cool time. I get to try different things, and you know we get to do different things with effects and see how that all comes together. Yeah. Um, personally, my belief on ghosts um, it's weird. I've I don't believe in ghosts, but I've seen a ghost. If that makes sense. So you're a bit of a skeptic then. Yeah. We'd say you were skeptical. I'm skeptical, but open to things. You need more evidence. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, no, I, I understand. That's pretty much how I, believe it or not, I wrote it and, I, and that's my view as well. Yeah. You know, um, so when you got the script for Porch Dogs uh, and you saw the advert on Star Now, what made you think, do you know what, I want to try for that? Well, one, the synopsis, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't come across anything quite like this yet um, with this kind of, with this diverse cast and, uh, and this kind of focus mm -hmm. on death and the afterlife. Um, but then the the way the characters are described and how they all interplay with each other, I think that's that's what drove what hooked me onto it. Mm -hmm. um, having characters interacting a lot means that as an actor you get to work with lots of people and you get to I don't know, you get to experience the way that other people do things and I think that's one of the things that excited me about it. Yeah, no, I agree. Um so <coughs> we all know that well the guys at home don't know, but they're about to find out that you're going to spend nine days shooting this in uh, black silk boxes. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, covered in baby oil. How, how does that make you feel? Uh, Great. <laughs> <laughs> a little cold, uh, a little cold in Manchester. But other than that, it's it's fun um, being that vulnerable, being that exposed is going to be new, interesting, yeah. but. Uh, excited for it it's kind of it's kind of a contradiction in a way because you are vulnerable in the sense that you are almost semi-naked mm -hmm. but randy's character is very confident man and yeah. for him it's not a problem it's going to be, have to be like the emperor's new clothes where i while well, i'm basically naked <laughs> i don't have to feel as confident as as perry does in his three-piece suit and a little bit more of a personal question how do you feel your family will feel about you seeing you semi-naked on screen for 45 <laughs> minutes probably for eight episodes they will be like my mom and dad won't be as surprised because at home and in the summer i'm just there in my shirt <laughs> I, I, I don't do sweating that often <laughs> i'm not a fan of overheating but uh for the rest of them they're going to be quite surprised yeah. um, most people see me more reserved so this is going to be a it's going to be new for them yeah yeah good so, my grandma's uncomfortable a little bit for, for uh, the youtube viewers at home are watching this channel yeah. um why should they watch it in your opinion why do you think these guys should bother to take the time to watch porch dogs when it comes out the back end of september november october time well i think if you're looking for something different right then because because like i said i haven't come across this kind of um setup and then these kinds of characters before so if, if you're looking for something different and exciting and and dealing with death from a younger and, and new perspective i think i think this will be the show to watch yeah. yeah and i've run out of questions <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much Vanessa. oh no worries thank you for having me